Hey there. So today we're talking about the Edmonton and Sherwood Park housing real estate market update. Stay tuned to find out. Also, I'll let you know the truth behind the average days on market and what favorite Edmonton attraction has a new home. So grab a coffee and let's dive in. Welcome to my Edmonton and Shura Park residential real estate update for period ending March 31st, 2019. I'm Jen McPhillamy, Realtor with Yeg Pro Realty. Quickly, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss future market updates or my super fun videos exploring Edmonton with Jen and Jody. If you can't wait for the weekly update, you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Jen McPhillamy. Easy. Okay, so let's get to the numbers. For single family detached homes in Edmonton, there were 3,336 homes for sale compared to the previous month where there were 3,371 homes for sale. Pretty flat if you ask me. Last month, 479 single family detached homes sold. That is pretty close to the 499 that sold the month before. I guess though, if you're those 20 houses that didn't sell, then it was a dramatic decrease. Okay, so let's talk about single family detached homes in Sherwood Park. In my opinion, the Sherwood Park market typically performs better than the Edmonton market, but things seem to have slid a little bit in the park this last month. Other than the benchmark price for single family homes, that comes in at about $447,000, which is only a half percent decrease month over month and a quarter percent decrease year over year. Where things get interesting is the amount of homes that were for sale and the amount that sold. Last month in the park, there were 288 single family detached homes for sale. This is a pretty big month over month increase of 32%. And the year over year increase was even bigger at 39.8%. As for what sold in the park for single family detached homes, only 50 homes sold last month. That was a slight increase if you can believe it month over month, but the year over year was a dramatic drop by 32%. So the increase of homes for sale coupled with the decrease in sales greatly reduced your chance of selling last month. So your chance of selling a single family detached home in the park last month was about 17%. This is down 7.6% month over month and a whopping 51.6% year over year. Well, hopefully the future months will turn around. I'm hearing some chatter that the interest rates may be going down and worst case scenario, which isn't even that bad, staying the same. So hopefully that with a couple other things that are happening will increase the numbers for the rest of the spring and the summer market. If you're a buyer, I recommend getting out there. This is a great time to buy. Interest rates are low. There's lots of inventory to choose from. You can probably get a pretty good deal. Okay, so now the truth about the average days on market. Especially in the buyer's market, this number can be misleading. As this number doesn't take into consideration the number of days the property was previously listed if it was relisted. It only considers the number of days under the current listing it's sold under. So, for example, if you had your home listed for let's say 90 days and it didn't sell, and you decided to relist it, maybe with the same realtor or a different realtor, the relist will get re-entered into the system essentially making it look like a new listing and resetting those days on market. So if that relist sold in 30 days, the days on market would be reported as 30 days that it took to sell that home. When actuality, it was the 90 days on the previous listing plus the current listing of 30 days, so it took really 120 days to sell. So when looking at the days on market, it's really good for an approximation, but note there are some inaccuracies with it. So just don't hang your hat on that number. The average days on market for a single family detached home in Edmonton is the flattest of the flat numbers reported today. The average days on market for single family detached homes in Edmonton was 68. There's absolutely no change month over month. For the park, 
As expected, given the higher inventory and the lower sales, the average days on market increased to 55 days. This is up 19.5% month over month and 52% year over year. That's just crazy. So as always, for you stat junkies, I have included links to my market reports for Edmonton, Sure Park, Fort Saskatchewan. I've also included the Edmonton Real Estate Board infographs for your information. Those are more high level. Okay, so quickly, before I wrap this up, I promise to tell you what major Edmonton attraction has a new home. If you haven't heard yet, it's the city market, the downtown farmer's market. They're moving to their new location this May. You'll now find them at 103rd A Ave, about 97th Street, 96th Street. The good thing is they now have a year round indoor space, much like the Strathcona Farmer's Market, but they'll also still have vendors on the outdoor space between May and October. Definitely check out this new location. It's right in the up and coming quarters area and the city has done a beautiful job developing it. 96th Street is actually called the Armature, which is the first city led Green Street. It is a beautiful pedestrian orientated corridor. So everyone, that's all for today. I hope you found this information to be helpful and informative. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. So what do these shoes, the flat earth theory, beer, with no tiny bubbles and the Edmonton real estate market have in common this last month. Well, they are all flat. <laughs>